the oceans are not fully explored. If you go deeper than 3,500 meters, you might find a new species. You may find trash and debris. 70% of the Earth is covered by oceans. The oceans are very deep, with an average depth of 3.7 kilometers. It's dark underwater because light can only go down 100 meters. Most of the Earth is in darkness because most of it is covered by water. Ocean water makes up 96% of Earth's water. There's not much fresh water compared to sea water. If we spread all the fresh water that flows into the ocean, it would only be 1.25 meters thick. Most life on Earth lives in water. Most of the world is covered by water, so people who live on land are a small group. What secrets are in the ocean? The more we explore, the more curious it becomes. We know more about Mars' surface than our ocean floor. What's happening in the deep? We didn't know everything until recently. Deep ocean is hard to explore due to darkness and high pressure. Today, we're going deep. We'll explore the ocean floor and learn about its composition and activities. What will we find there? We'll dive into the most extreme places. What's in the deepest parts of the ocean? Our submersible starts. We will stop briefly at important points until we reach the end. Pearl collectors can dive up to 40 meters without scuba gear. They hold their breath. Water pressure makes air leave the lungs. It's the deepest recreational divers can go. 90% of ocean life is found in the top 200 meters of water because there is still light. It helps phytoplankton grow. It feeds tiny crustaceans with its large amount of biomass. Fish and whales eat them. Deeper diving means less light and life. Scuba divers have gone as deep as 332 meters. No one could dive deep without a bathyscaph. Emperor penguins can dive up to 565 meters deep. There is very little photosynthesis here, no light, no plants. We can find many fish, but for many, it's not a friendly place anymore. They don't seek a good life here. They go deeper to hide from predators. 1,000 meters, end of twilight zone. The inhabitants emit their own light because there is very little sunlight. They use glowing chemical reactions to attract or scare away animals. Siphonophores live up to 1,000 meters deep. They are jellyfish's closest relatives. They live in colonies around a long tube for digestion. Deeper down, creatures get weirder. A military submarine went down 1,027 meters, setting a record. Giant octopuses and sperm whales can dive 2,200 meters deep. They fight deadly battles at this depth. Anglerfish use a glowing fin ray to attract prey. Glowing bait looks tasty. The light comes from bacteria. Internet cables are laid 6,100 meters deep in the ocean. Over 90% of the ocean is 6,000 meters deep. It's the deepest part of the ocean. The ocean sinks deeper in some places. We're discussing famous ocean locations. Let's go to the Mariana Trench, the deepest and most well-known one. Mariana Trench is between two plates. It formed by subduction of the Pacific Plate under the Philippine Plate. It formed 180 million years ago. Mammals were already on land. Mariana Trench is not a hole. It's a big formation. It's five times longer than the Grand Canyon in the U.S., spanning 2,542 kilometers. It's about 70 kilometers wide. Many places are deeper than 10,000 meters due to the large size. Challenger Abyss is well known. It's in the southwest of the trench, 340 kilometers from Guam. It can be as deep as 10,028 to 11,034 meters below sea level. The Mariana Trench has the second deepest spot in the ocean. Siren Abyss is 200 kilometers east of Challenger Abyss. It goes down to 10,809 meters. The deepest place is not at the center of the Earth. Earth is not a perfect sphere. It is slightly flattened at the poles and bulges at the equator. The poles have a radius 25 kilometers smaller than the equator. The Arctic Ocean floor is closer to the Earth's center than the Challenger Abyss. The Mariana Trench is very big and has unique conditions. At the top, there's the Daikoku Volcano, only 414 meters deep. See a rare thing, a lake of pure molten sulfur under the water. The black substance boils at 187 degrees Celsius. There's a better place. Black Smokers is the name. These are hot springs deep underwater that shoot out very hot and mineral-rich water with high pressure. 
the water can reach up to 450 degrees Celsius. Black smokers were the origin of ocean life a billion years ago. Scientists used to think that life in the Mariana Trench could only exist at shallow depths. Life cannot survive in the high pressure and cold temperature at the bottom of the Challenger Abyss, but later expeditions showed the opposite. Wait until March 24, 1995. A Japanese probe named Keiko went to the deepest part of the depression and measured 10,911.4 meters. It brought back silt samples with tiny living creatures. Four aminifera have a tiny skeleton and are made up of only one cell. In July 2011, a research team used models and drop camps with cameras and flashlights to explore the ocean's deepest areas. We found a huge forum minifera. It was big for tiny organisms, more than 10 centimeters in size. In 2012, James Cameron went on an expedition using a one-person vehicle called Deep Sea Challenger. Scientists found 200 invertebrate species in soil samples. In December 2014, an expedition found complex multicellular organisms at a depth of 8,145 meters. New snailfish-like fish discovered by scientists. Fish hold the record for deep water. Only snailfish are present there. Good news, no predators at this depth. Let's explore another oceanic depression on the opposite side of the globe. The Puerto Rican Trench is a pit on the boundary of the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean deepest depression in Atlantic. It goes down to 8,376 meters. It's named Milwaukee Depth after the U.S. Navy ship that discovered it. The discovery was made in 1939, but the depth was not measured until 2018. Found using advanced equipment called Kongsberg EM-124 multi-beam sonar, Victor Vescovo, a retired U.S. Navy officer and private equity investor, made the first man dive on the Roe v. into the Puerto Rico Trench on December 19, 2018. This is the deepest point in the Atlantic Ocean. The ocean's deep places are often turbulent geologically. Earthquakes have caused a lot of damage to nearby islands, especially Puerto Rico. A tsunami hit the west coast of the island on October 11, 1918 after a 7.0 earthquake. Over 100 people died, and the damage cost millions of dollars. Geoscientists think a big volcano might erupt soon and cause a disaster. The Puerto Rican Trench has a geological anomaly. NASA found a very dense formation under the trench. It's very heavy, so it pulls the ocean down a bit. It shows how navigation devices can be less accurate. Trench animals are fascinating. In 2012, a robot went to the bottom of the trench and took pictures of small crustaceans called amphipods. They were caught and analyzed. The video showed invertebrates that shouldn't be there. Dr. Stace Boulieu from Woods Hole Oceanic Institution found one by its soft, dark body that was 10 to 20 tem long. It's a Pinagan sea cucumber. He identified a monopsida crustacean in another animal. Deep sea creatures exist, which changed scientists' theories about species survival. Let's check out the Kermatic Trench in the Pacific. It's a huge underwater trench in the Pacific, like the Mariana Trench in the Atlantic. It's in the east of Kermatic Islands and links to Tonga Trench in the north. It's 1,200 kilometers long, found in 1889 by British ship Penguin's expedition. It's almost as deep as the Mariana Trench, which is 10,047 meters. The trench has unique animals found by researchers. In 2012, Alicella gigantea amphipods were found at the depression's bottom. Scientists were confused by their size. They were 34 centimeters long, while other crustaceans are usually only 2 centimeters long. Big size happens because creatures live really deep in the ocean. Liparian deep sea fish were found in the trench. It's a type of biological species called Laparis kermatisensis. This fish is very deep and lives between 6,472 and 7,561 meters. Finding the pearl fish in the Kermatic Trench was exciting. Found at 8,200 to 8,300 meters deep, the pearl fish is usually found at 1,800 to 2,000 meters deep, so finding it elsewhere is unusual. We don't know how these creatures got to deep places and survived. We only explored a few pages of the book about the deepest ocean places. As technology advances, there are more dives. Six expeditions went to the Mariana Trench with people. We can hope for more discoveries.